Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I have a different kind of video for you. I'm going to be doing a charity shop slash shopping doll haul because I've been picking up a few bits over the last couple of months. Obviously charity shops were closed for a while because of this whole situation that's going on in the world which I'm not going to talk about on my channel but um, some have started to open again now and I've been going and I've picked up a few things so I thought I would share with you what I've managed to find because I'm really excited about these things if you enjoy this video remember to leave a thumbs up make sure to subscribe down below because I upload role plays hauls unboxings and follow me on TikTok and Instagram which will also be linked down below and without further ado let's get into the video so if you didn't know, as well as Barbies, I also collect vintage Bratz dolls. So I'm going to start off by showing you the Bratz dolls that I picked up. Now I paid £1 each for all of these Bratz dolls, which is amazing because Bratz dolls can be expensive on eBay. These are in quite a bad state, but for a pound each, I was having all three of them. And the first one that I got is this one. So this is obviously a Yasmin. I, I'm guessing she's one of the sleepover slash slumber ones just because she has this little eye mask on her head which is really cute it's a fluffy purple one and it hasn't even been removed from her head you can see it's still attached which is amazing her hair is in a pretty bad way and I think it might have had a haircut even though it's still got some of the original elastics in I do think it's had a haircut as you can see she does have a few marks on her face also, um, I just want to say very quickly, all of the charity shops that I've been going in have been leaving their donations for 72 hours because of obviously what's been going on and stuff. And this is the first time I've touched these dolls since I've had them and I've had them for about three weeks now. So yeah, just pointing that out. Um, but she is wearing this Barbie t-shirt slash top with just this pattern on it, which I'm not actually that bothered about because I think it will look really nice on Jess. And then she has some of her original earrings in there. These are the jeans she's wearing. So they're actually really nice as well. Obviously they're not hers. And then she has these sandals on. Which I'm not sure if they are hers or not. Because they do match her head um, eye mask thing. But yeah that's what she looks like. And for a pound a bargain. Next I got a boy. So this is what he looks like. He is again in actually a lot better condition than the girls i would say he's got his hair like that um he's got this really nice shirt on which i actually really like i love how detailed the dolls were during this era and then he's wearing just some plain jeans he didn't come with any shoes but i'm not bothered because for a pound you can't complain lastly i've got this girl so this is obviously a chloe i think she is one of the winter time ones but i'm not 100 percent sure she has this really disgusting elastic band in her hair which i'm going to be taking out when i make her over if you'd like me to film a video i'm making over my brat dolls then either let me know in the comments if my comments are on or if not dm me over on instagram or tiktok because i'd love to film a video like that for you all but i would definitely say she has had some sort of haircut as for her outfit it is all over the place so she's wearing a Cindy swimming costume thing, which will actually be really good for when I take my dolls in my pool. Um, these like gymnastics joggers, which I think are brats. I just don't know who they, who they belong to. And then she's wearing these high heels, which don't have holes on the bottom. So they might be first edition, but again, I'm not sure. But that's Chloe. From a different charity shop, I picked up three other dolls so one was a barbie and two are actually my scenes and i used to collect my scenes when i was a child but i haven't had one since i've been an adult collector because normally they're very expensive but these two are actually in quite good condition for the price i paid so this is the first one i believe she is a noli her hair is in original style she's definitely the one that's in the best condition out of the ones i got um, she does have a lot of dirty marks on her face which need to be removed but I can make her over quite easily. She's wearing this spotty dress which I don't think is even a Mycene one. I'm not too sure where it's from but it would be good for Jess for like pyjamas or something. And then 
she was two pounds as i said um so that's her she's a little bit squeaky but she is really nice and i just think my scene girls are really pretty next i got this one so she is a barbie my scene um that's her name um her hair again has these really nice little twists in them which is really cute i think these two might be from the same line i'm not too sure but this is what her face looks like again she is quite dirty and someone has decided to do her lipstick with some kind of nail nail polish she's wearing this dress which again i don't think's my scene it looks like one of those cheap doll dresses you'd get in a multi-pack off ebay or wish or something i don't really like it and it's all ripped you can see that so i'll probably just throw this away to be honest with you um because i don't like the style i don't like the texture of it and it's just horrible but for two pounds I had to get these my scenes. The last doll I got from that charity shop was this Barbie. And there's nothing really that special about her face. I mean, she has her earrings in and stuff. But if she didn't have the body she had, I wouldn't have bought her. So this is the body. As you can see, she's got articulation. So she's got articulation at the shoulder, elbow and the wrist. And at the legs, she's got it on. Her legs there just at the knee she actually has the same articulation as jess and it's just handy to have more of these articulated dolls because they just do so much more and you can put them in so many different poses they're better for filming with and just everything like that so that's the main reason i got her because if i want to i can obviously remove the head and put one of my dolls that i use in my role play on the body um in terms of her outfit again it's all right actually out of the outfits that i've shown you guys so far i think this is probably the best one so she's just wearing this plain white t-shirt which when you collect dolls or you do role plays you could never have enough of and then she's just wearing this green skirt with this kind of different pattern on it and it's like ruffled at the bottom so that's her now i'm going to move on to all of the store-bought things that i got so from tesco's i actually picked her up when she was on offer i got her quite a while ago which is why i've obviously removed her from the box but this is a barbie fashion easter i'm not sure which one she is but i'll try and leave the number on the screen i really love this doll a lot as you can see her hair is like a unicorn it's all different colors it's blonde pink purple and blue her makeup is absolutely stunning and she just wears this jumper dress which says dream often on it she's actually a curvy barbie so it's always handy to get these because sometimes your regular clothes don't fit curvy barbie so the more you get the more selection your curvy barbies have for clothes and i'm actually going to be using her in my role play as jess's sister so make sure to watch out for her in future videos and i actually only paid six pounds for her because i got her when she was on offer in tesco's i didn't even go out to buy dolls that day because it was during lockdown but i saw her in there and i had to get her for that price so i picked her up next from tk maxx i found this barbie so you might recognize the dress because i do have one doll from this collection already on the back it shows you the other dolls in this collection and i have this one so the only one i'm now missing is the one in the purple dress but i'm not fussed about getting her and i wanted to get this one because of the dress mainly and the shoes are really nice as well they're like pink ones this was 8.99 from tk maxx which is a bargain really normally these dolls are about 12 pounds 10 pounds so she was only nine pounds which is really good and i think she's really nice she's got a really nice face lastly from the range i picked up one thing that i'm actually going to show you just because i think i'm going to get a lot of questions about where this is from when i show it on my tiktok um but i picked up this little bag it was only one pound but as you can see it is so cute it's got little teddies on it and it says baby with a pink bow and i think this makes an excellent size for a barbie baby changing bag so i just hooked it over the pram and i also took the bow off the other side of the bag and stuck it on the car seat just to make my baby pram look a little bit more girly because obviously in my role play Jess had a girl and I don't have the pink baby buggy I got the yellow one because a lot of the babies that I've had in the past have been boys 
got obviously now Jess has had a little girl I wanted to make the pram look a little bit more girly and I think this little accessory does that really well and this little bag was one pound from the range so, so yeah. there you guys go I really hope you enjoyed this haul if you did please leave a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this as well as following me on TikTok and Instagram thank you so much for watching and until next time I'll see you soon bye